Hi friends, this is Pastor Daniel Govaya. Thank you so much for checking out this review. Today I'm taking a look at the beautiful, gorgeous New King James Deluxe Thinline Reference Bible. Comes in this beautiful, sturdy box. It's a clamshell box, as you can see. And I have the brown genuine leather. There's several formats. I'll leave some links down below. Um, it retails for $99.99, but you can get it for less than this. In the back, you have some information. Exclusive Thomas Nelson, New King James Comfort Print Typeface. Love the Comfort Print, highly readable. Nine Point Type was a little nine point, I would say. It's kind of a tiny font in this Bible. Extensive cross-references, easy to use concordance, and a few other things that we will look at in just a little bit. So this is the box and this is how it looks. It's a red letter edition, okay? So when I took it out of the box, there was two or three things that really impressed me about this Bible and that I really love. The first one is definitely the grain of this genuine leather. Not all genuine leather is the same and as you can see, this one is pretty awesome. I have here, just for a comparison, the King James Sovereign Collection uh, by Thomas Nelson. This is also genuine leather. Also has a beautiful grain to it, and it's awesome. I love this genuine leather, but in my opinion, this is superior. Yes, it is less flexible. It is thicker also, but I actually love covers that are not very flexible. So this is my kind of cover. I can't say enough about this cover. I really love it. I know some people will not like it, but I love it. Um, it is perimeter stitched, as you can see. But one of the other things that really impressed me about this Bible is the spine. Even though there are other um, Bibles by Thomas Nelson that have spines that are similar to this, I don't know, something about the size and simplicity and at the same time beauty of this spine just hit me. It has five raised hubs, as you can see. They are gorgeous. They're very pronounced. Just the design of the spine, I think it's really, really awesome. So you just have Holy Bible and the cool effects of this design in gold and then New King James and the Thomas Nelson logo at the bottom. You have two double satin ribbons, one in brown and one in red. Not a very light red, not too dark either, so perfect. Really love it. Stands out, but not too much. I love this. This is really well done. They are very long. They have a diagonal cut. You do have some gold gilding, although it's not very pronounced, but you can see it there. Um, there's no color under the gold. So that's that. You have a brown headband and a brown tail band. I don't know if you can see it very well, but it's there. And you open it up and you have a synthetic liner for what I can see and feel. The corner work is well executed. And it is edge lined, as you can see. So this adds durability to the binding. You open it up and you have this thick sheet of paper here. Then you have the presentation page and this kind of a glossy paper, but not too shiny. Psalm 119, 105 there. Tile page, the Holy Bible. The Holy Bible containing the Old and New Testaments, New King James, Thomas Nelson. You have the information page here, and this Bible is printed in China. Table of Contents. You have the short preface to the New King James. And the title page for the Old Testament. And then you have the text. Everything is in black here in the Old Testament. So book titles, um, subheadings, chapter numbers, verse numbers, and then the references and the translation notes at the bottom. Everything in black. Like I mentioned in the beginning, 
This is a nine point font, but I would say on the shorter side, not very big of a nine point, okay? A little nine point, but it is very readable. Actually, because the font is not huge, allows this Bible to have something else that I really like, which is a very portable size. This is not your full size, like the Premier Collection thin line that you have here. You can see the footprint is considerably smaller in this deluxe thin line Bible. Look at that. And I assume it is because of the font, since this is a 11 point font. Um, and of course, this Bible has a few other details that this one does not have. This is a premium Bible, premier collection. I would say this is a semi-premium Bible because it does have premium features. It's a really nice Bible with some really nice features, but not to the level of this one, even in terms of the paper quality. However, I really have to say I'm impressed with this Bible. I love this size of a Bible. Even though I like big fonts, I don't need them. Uh, my eyesight does not give me any problem. So this is easier to carry in your hand. Um, if you're a preacher and you like to hold a Bible in your hand and you don't read much, you've memorized your sermon or you have your notes in front of you, you just want to have a Bible in your hand for the sake of showing that you are preaching out of God's Word, this is perfect for that. I'm imagining that when I preach a sermon and I read more of the Bible from my notes than from an actual physical Bible, I will probably have this in my hand because I love it so much. And I can still, of course, read this font from the pulpit because it's so readable, because there's so much space between the lines. I wouldn't make it my main Bible just because of the way that I interact with the Bible, but it is definitely a Bible that I really love, that I will treasure, and that I will use. So, as you can see, it's a double column format. The references and translation notes are centered in the bottom. For poetry, you do get a poetic setting. Looks awesome. Gives you a little bit more space if you like to make annotations. And the verse numbers stand out because they are on the side of the text. Letters are indented, as you can see. So nothing new if you're used to this format or this layout by Thomas Nelson, the New King James Comfort Print. Most of the Bibles come with a poetic setting and with letters indented, and they just look awesome, in my opinion. It has a decent size margin here for a Bible this size, and it has good space in the gutter, so you won't have any problems reading with text going into the gutter. No, I don't think so. The binding is a little bit stiff. Um, I imagine that with use, it will you know, you have to break it in and then it, you should be fine. I do like to see a little bit more space in the gutter, that's just me. This is a paragraph format. The verse numbers don't stand out too much since the font is already a little bit small. The verse numbers are even smaller, I would say. They're not bold, they're not of a different color, they don't stand out. Unless when you are reading the Gospels and you have big sections with red, then you, the verse numbers stand out because because they're black. I was reading here in John uh, the other day, John 17, Jesus's prayer, and it, you can see the black verse numbers stand out a little bit. Here you have the separation between the Old Testament and the New Testament. And there you go, Matthew. Again, this is a red letter Bible. The words of Jesus are in red all the way through Revelation. I did not find great inconsistencies in the red or the black by that matter. The printing is fairly consistent. I prefer a red that is slightly darker um, than this one, but this is not bright at all. This is great. This is very readable. Um, of course, the black is way easier to read, but I understand that red letter Bibles are very popular, so you have to continue having them for sure. Well, that's about it for the Bible. Um, and you do have at the end, here you go, at the end you have a concordance. Nice size concordance. Then you have a one-year reading plan. 
to help you reading your Bible during a year. Then a note regarding the type concerning the comfort print for the New King James. Love it. And then the Zondervan maps that we are used to see in the Thomas Nelson Bibles. I have many reviews where I go through these maps. So glossy paper, but not too shiny, not too glossy. I love it. I think it's really nice. Love the colors. And that is it for this Bible. So I hope you enjoyed this review. I hope it can give you a little idea about this Bible. Again, I love it. I love the cover. I love the size and the portability. I love the spine. And even though the font is a little bit small, I can read it very well. It's highly readable. And I think that unless you have eyesight problems, you will be able to read this font as well. So that is it for this review. If you have any questions, please let me know. Leave them down below in the comments section. And remember that Jesus loves you. Whatever Bible you read, read it with prayer, read it with faith. The New King James is an excellent Bible to read and to study from. It is still my favorite translation in English, although I have so many other translations that I use and that I love, but I just love the New King James. Thomas Nelson did provide this Bible in exchange for an honest review, and I am very grateful for that. All right, see you on my next video. Bye. Gorgeous, beautiful Bible. Ooh. Look at that. Look at that. Ooh, yes, yes.